and welcome back guys to another episode of Dungeon of Dreadmoor. Tighten up our armor and continue on the way. So, I think we have this level pretty much cleared out. I'm just going to take a look see if there's any areas we haven't. But I think we pretty much finished her off in the last episode. Oh, a little bit over there. And, oop, and this guy behind us. I think that's a shrine we have to drop stuff off at anyway. Hmm. Can we jump this wall is another question. You can! Nice! The ability has came in quite handy. So let us use Fritz the Mockery of Blood. And we get Kankor, the Smoker of strength. Okay, so what does this give us? One counter attack? No, eh, we'll take two affixation resistance. <laughs> Affixative resistance. The Heimlich maneuver of the 10th century. Not feel a thing? Well, very little. So yeah, we can't be strangled to death anymore, which is good. I'm not even strangled, but we can. Ooh. Our enemies will have difficulty killing us from lack of oxygen. Put it that way. Which is a good thing. Because we wouldn't be a mighty hero if we died from lack of oxygen. There's a lot of polychrome heroines. This one we can punch in the face. Oh, rocket punch. Okay, what are you? The commander of the Lord Dreadmore 76 cohort, the enormous noses. So that's something. Okay, so I think we have this area cleared out. Then. I don't see anything more to do. We have completed all our quests except for the one on the level 2. Ah, we could go up here and see. No, nope, don't see him. Well, that's enough. That's strange. Ah, man, I really wanted to finish that quest, but like I said, I don't want to walk around here for half an hour trying to find one monster. So. Thing that bother we can kill. Okay, so where is it down? We are here. So it should be down just right over here. Perfect. Now entering level 5. We will jump up there, get that jacket after we smash this. 4. Jump. Oh, boom. And we jumped right on a trap. We will disarm. And punch that. Oh, I missed. That was my bad. Jumping on the enemy sure doesn't do much damage at all. These are steam golems. This golem is most often found lurking around saunas and. It's a traditional enemy of the Finns. It is well known for operating on a time scale beyond the ken of mundane beings such as yourself. That's it. It's cloud gremlin. Cloud gremlins. Riding clouds out for adventure sh and shocking time. So that cloud gremlin is peaceful right now. We will. It, we were standing behind it, so we surprised it and critical hit it to death. Believe her. Oh good, very glad we pulled that leaf to get a potato. I'm very excited about that free potato. A f oh, I like fish paladins. Champion of the Ludifus God, sent to this material Spain to set the water world in the most ungainly way possible. And it looks like there's a trap right here that he got hit by. Um, what is a one use trap? Prince! 
grilled steak. Oh, you guys thought we can't get that? Boom! It helps have a ranged attack. We might also be able to jump at that. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure we can. See, look, he does righteous damage. Now, I don't know why he wants to kill us, but he does righteous damage. So, see, now these enemies are doing all kinds of elemental damage, and we're actually taking from, well, like, that must have spirit. He all, does all physical damage, though. So we didn't have as much to worry about from him. But the other enemies that do elemental damage are doing a lot more damage to us now. Food vendor. Yay yeah, from one loot of fisk. Oh. Fruit tree end. The fruit tree ends hurt every puzzle variant of an apple a day joke and they might and they just don't find them meat. We already saw a fruit tree end, but <laughs> I thought it was funny the first time, so. Slime burst trap. Ooh, we're getting good luck with our Travis arms. Small crossbow. Oops, steam trap. Oops, steam trap. Walk very carefully because there's going to be a trap down here. Perfect. Oh, I don't know why that we didn't set up that scalding tube. Steam trap. We also hear the sounds of a cash register, which means Brax is nearby. <laughs> so, keep that in mind as well. Statue of Inconquencia. God, is a side quest. The muzzler Arg from Mag, the bringer of armories, or armors, and his horde of underlings, Lord Red Molar's 56th flank, the Eater of Newt, must be defeated. So what that means is, it's an enemy with a group of other enemies. So this is just a bunch of enemies. Ooh! Samurai Bot Mark 3! Samurai Bark Mark 3, the latest and coal farts out of my robot technology. This monster's trying to kill you. Um, we lost our armor, probably from the steam traps. The Tree of Woe. Fruit Tree End. Oh, where's this monster? Oh, it's a great pumpkin, it's invisible. Guess he had a special ability or something. Let's see if I can sneak up on this living statue. Yes, we have defeated all the enemies in the immeasurable shore. Good thing the check is behind doors, because you guys can't see if there's anything behind them. This is a good thing to do. Oh shit. That was my bad. Ludafisk God. Ludafisk for Ludafisk God. Oh yeah, we already gone this way. Whoop. Man, I didn't expect uh, like traps and stuff over there. Ooh, a food statue. Food just trap. No traps. Foos Roda! Contains lengthy descriptions of dishes which appear at the feast ability you already failed to expect any information. Um, I am gonna try so I've never done this. I have negative one to flame resistance. I didn't know that. No? 
Let's do anything. Okay, let's pop. Okay, well I guess we got resistance. Not sure if it did anything else. Gex. That one's ice. Oh, that one's ice. That one's fire. I don't know. I really don't know how this works. Did he just charge at me? I'm not exactly sure. Pass right. Should be another one right yeah, but there for that such a Oh also the item we picked up was a Caltrope eruptor. We should actually place that and oh. Um, oh we have two. Oops, we actually step on our rest of Caltrope. Because what we can do is they're not worth anything and we can make them blow up and get the Caltrops. And we get experience from, well, removing the Caltropes, and then, perfect, may as well, we'll just the rest of stuff over here. I can't remember what all these are worth, so I'm just not going to loot fist them till after. My low, where's that, oh, let's go, let's go off to the flash. Awful grilled meat. Let's go to the map. Oh, turn that around. That boy. Here it goes again with the wax music. Oops. Quick. The water tastes foul, you'll feel stupid. Lingering dullness. Makes it a lot worse than casting magic. Anvil of Kong. Good job, more anvils of Kong. Or two experience for lock picking. We discovered the cavern of moons. We've got a cavern place for pans. Staff of Immaculate Conception. Or conceptualization, actually. It was actually a lot easier to find stuff before they added all these glazes. Really holy shield. Cause now there's so many glaze recipes that it really like overpowers all your other Clockwork Power Limb is useful. Um oh sorry, this is an overclock pa clockwork power limb. But it's pretty much the same thing. Um it just <clears throat> this increases your damage. I think it reduces your ability to um, hit your opponent like a lot of stuff does. Lots of gaggas, please. Emerald Amulet. Takes a lot of platinum, and platinum is something we're not gonna have a huge amount extra of, I don't think. Because, like, we have to make quite a bit of certain types of stuff. So, like, it's, it's not. I don't want to say that it's super rare either, because it's not, but like, it's rare enough that you don't want to waste three of it. Or not. It's uncommon, is how I describe it. Oh. There we go. I can get strong amphotropes, strong amphotropes. So those guys must have triggered those caltropes. Junior Anvil Smithing Kit. Mystical Graffiti. Let us write down our Mystical Graffiti. Blat. Wir. Ah. Uh, Remember, pause video if you need to. Make sure you write it down correctly, or you <laughs> could pay the consequences later on. 
Iron Sword. See, these are awesome to find if you're going into that. Because if you have an Iron Sword, you're already a couple iron up. This is a higher level thrusty. Cast the thrust, he must. As we already know. We're getting lots of iron. Which is fine. We're gonna need iron to turn into steel, so. Cannot complain about having excess iron. Oops. Brax. Dwarven Wiffle Mall. The, dwarf, the dwarves did lose the last of them, you know. Belt of Iron Plates. Um, that is a good sign, and we have a lot of. I'm asking to buy that because if you look, um, we have a. Oops, I have to get to the right area. We have a lot of steel stuff to craft. Like, um, if you look at our inventory, oh, we can't put these at the same time. But, I, I it. but the only steel thing we have so far is steel boots. So we still have to craft a steel cuirass, which is three steel, or four, then st steel four plates, so that's seven. And then we need to craft steel shiny pants, which is eleven. And then, um, eleven. I think we're just at eleven. So we're at eleven so far. Then, if we want to craft Girdle of Shiny Silver Plates, which is better, but that's my long shot, especially considering it uses steel, um, we need 14. So, there's something to consider. So, we're, and the thing is, we can always sell it back or do something with it afterwards, so. Um, we are gonna use that, unless there's anything else over here. One here, bronze and golden axe. This is a cool reference. It's really expensive though. 16,000. I don't know why that golden axe is so expensive. But we will buy the belt of shiny silver plates. Especially because we're just wearing a regular belt. But, okay, so there's a pick up option. If you select the pick up option, you will take the item but not pay for it. However, you will then enrage Brax. Okay, the shop demon. Okay. 206 health. A villainous sales demon with a terrible checkered suit. He will sell you the equipment you need, but he does not take two shoplifters. It says he's trying to kill me, but he's not. Anyway. The thing is, you go, oh, one Mr. Brax. No. Mr. Brax will hunt you till the end of time if you steal from him. Um. I've never stole from Mr. Brax, because it's generally um, not encouraged, and that's everywhere. Like anywhere you be, Mr. Brax will show up. And the thing is, there's not one Mr. Brax. There's not Mr. Brax, but I always call him Mr. Brax. There's several Braxes. So as there is several Brax shops, it's not one Brax. It's lots of Brax. They're sales demon. So you will fight the wrath of several Braxes. Which you do not want to travel with. So you always just buy your items. But if you feel... You, can, you feel like it's worth the risk, which it probably isn't. You're welcome to steal from Mr. Brax. But anyway, that I think about does it for this episode of The Dungeons of Dreadmore. We will see you back here um, soon, I hope. Ta-ta for now.